everybody, Five Farley here, March 29th, and uh, it's Thursday. we got a short slate of games to go through, and uh, so let's get right to it. Real quick, yesterday, got another win, uh, taking Brooklyn first half. Uh, they was exactly how I would hoped it would go. They have been, Brooklyn Nets have been averaging 33 points in the first quarter. They came out, I think, to 36 or 38. Uh, Orlando uh, averaged 24 in the first quarter. Brooklyn with no defense, uh, gave up, I think, uh, 32 or so in the first quarter. Uh, anyway, ended up, I think, up eight there at halftime. Uh, so a nice, easy win again. So that's four in a row in the NBA here. Um, all four have been pretty easy wins, which is great. We're getting some decent lines um, in the NBA right now, but uh, we're also getting some late lines getting pushed out. We're getting lower totals here at the end of the season. And then we're seeing a lot of uh, line movement based on who's playing, who's injured, who's resting, uh, who's got motivation to try and make the playoffs and who doesn't. Um, in college basketball, I've won four of the last five. Um, and we're down to the NIT championship game. Um, real quick, I'm not going to play this, uh, but I will put my two cents in. Um, right away, I liked Penn State. Um, I liked them. Uh, right as this game was announced, that was the way I was going to go. It opened at three. Um, I think three is good. Four is not as good. Um, it could be a close game. Utah's actually impressed me against their game, winning on the road at St. Mary's, and then winning against Western Kentucky, uh, showing some resilience and coming back and winning that game. Now, like I said in my last video, look at the unders. And I said that in the last video when two games were played, both games went under. Um, in a game like this, isolated... Uh, you really want to look first, lean under uh, the total, and then from there, convince your way out of it to a no play. That's that's my approach when we have an iso isolated game like this. Very similar to a uh, Thursday or Friday night college football game. So here we have one game isolated. Um, I think we would pad a few points because public money will be going over with this. Um, that said... It's the NIT championship game. Um, I, I think the line is pretty sharp. Um, so I don't think we have an advantage there, so I'm passing. Moving on to the NBA. Um, we have had some movement today. We've had updates today on who's playing, who's injured, um, who's going to be taking a break, uh, who doesn't have what it takes. So uh, we have the Wizards looking for a sweep on the season against the Pistons. Pistons needing a win uh, to stay relevant. And uh, so that line has moved quite a bit. Uh, you have Thunder, who have been on a hot streak. Spurs on a cold streak, going to San Antonio, where Popovich is fantastic. Um, and so you got a lot of line movement there. Um, I'm going to go, and then we got the Warriors, who are being favored at home for the first time in a while. They're getting Durant back, uh, Draymond Green back. So uh, we open up four, up to five for Golden State. Um uh, I wouldn't surprise to see them cover uh, with some, some newfound energy that they haven't had in the last two weeks. The game I'm going to go with today to see if we can make this five days in a row of winning is going to be the Pacers-Kings total. Total opened up at 203 and is down to 202 and a half. I'm going to go under. The reason being, one, there's a lot of controversy going on in, in Sacramento politically. And there's a lot of distractions. The Kings players we're talking about, they can't get their families and friends to the game. Their biggest concern is whether they're okay or not. It's taking top priority, since they're not looking forward to any playoffs, top priority to their concern. Um, and it's definitely not how to get the ball in the hoop. Uh, secondly, we have, we have the Pacers who are uh, playing really well, and I think they're going to win this game. If I had to take another pick, I would take them to cover this game. But uh, we're not going to have a very close game, I don't think, here in the second half. Could be, but either way, um, it's hard to get Sacramento to score over 100 points. Um, they haven't been there in the last six games, six games straight under 100 points. And they've been playing worse different defenses than the Pacers. Uh, now, Utah plays slow ball, Detroit can play slow ball, Dallas can play slow ball, Boston plays slow ball, um, and so they put up 97, 90, 93, 97 uh, against each one of those teams, um, but I don't think the Pacers are going to give up uh, much more than 90 here tonight anyway, 
So I think we're at about 100 to 90 um, to be the final. And uh, so I will gladly take 202 under in the Pacers Kings game. Um, and they'll just gladly move on. By the way, we're also seeing 54% of the tickets on the over, 65% of the money coming in on the under. So a little more uh, heavy, heavy money pulling that line down a little bit. Um, uh, also just kind of reinforcing the pick 202 under, uh, 202 and a half under in the Pacers Kings. All right. Let me know what you think. Throw it down in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody again soon.